uh, helping out, filling in for Sean this week. Uh, we want to take you now to what's happening on Wall Street. We are just minutes away from the opening bell. We got a look at stocks yesterday. They were slightly down. That's right. Meantime, this financial story making headlines today. The U.S. is changing tax reporting for all Venmo and PayPal payments. The IRS issuing a one-year delay that would require reporting on transactions of more than $600. Javier Palomares, Palomares is the CEO and the, of the U.S. Hispanic Business Council, and he joins us now to discuss this story. Uh, Javier, Javier, uh, 2023 was going to be the first year in which people who earned at least $600 from online platforms like eBay, Etsy, Venmo, uh, Cash App were going to receive 1099K income tax, reform, tax forms. Uh, why was that the case? Why did the government feel the need to initially say, hey, if you're transactioning uh, more than $600, uh, you need to make the government aware of this. You know, unfortunately, and good morning, by the way, thank you for having me. Uh, unfortunately, as usual, American small business was not asked about this coming regulation. Uh, you know, I think it's important to, to put this thing in its proper context. Uh, right now, American small businesses are still dealing with the after effects of COVID. We're, we're not done with that. Uh, supply chains that have been disrupted or decimated. Uh, we've got rising interest rates. We've got record inflation. We've got immigration issues that are impacting our businesses. And then on top of that, this came along. Uh, I'm delighted that at least we've got a one-year reprieve to allow us to more fully understand uh, what, 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 the, what the regulators are asking of us. You know, right off the bat, um, is the threshold too low? That question, obviously. Secondly, how do you determine business income from personal income? Uh, this will be impactful, uh, clearly, for American small business community. Yeah. You know, and Javier, if you could just sort of expand on who's using these sort of platforms to have these transactions take place. Are these mom and pop businesses that you think of? Uh, they're typically the smaller businesses, you know, uh, self-employed uh, to maybe one or two employees, but it does get bigger. Mm -hmm. um, right now, we know that about 34 percent of American small businesses have started using these platforms. Uh, it's been a great boon for them in terms of efficiencies. Um, we know that in general, in the Hispanic business community, in the Hispanic community, I'm sorry, about 52% of Hispanics generally use PayPal. I suspect that that percentage is even higher among, among Hispanic-owned businesses. Uh, these are platforms that have been a boon uh, to the American small business community. So the impact will clearly be felt. Um, we have a lot of questions. Uh, unfortunately, you know, in today's Washington, uh, American small business doesn't have a voice. And if you don't have a voice, you don't get a choice. So we're, we're having to deal with this. Uh, we're happy that we've got a one year delay that allows us to, uh, you know, kind of more fully understand what's ahead of us. You know, Javier, I think about an app like Venmo. A lot of uh, folks I know uh, use Venmo when they go out to eat with a bunch of people. And you can easily rack up a bill of $600 if you're out to eat with 10, 15 people. Is that, would that mean down the road, uh, folks, uh, if they do transfer $600 on a Venmo app, that they would have to fill out a 1099 form for a uh, simple transaction like going out to eat? Exactly. Exactly. That's exactly the, the issue right there. You know, and as an American small business uh, organization, you know, we advocate on the 4.7, uh, the 4.7 million Hispanic owned firms in this country that contribute over $800 billion to the American economy. While we continue to contribute, the federal government continues to put, you know, regulation after regulation upon our backs without any kind of consultation, without ever asking us. It's a difficult thing to have to deal with. It's here. We'll deal with it. Um, I'm just happy that we've got a one-year reprieve to be able to better understand this. Uh, but this this doesn't, you know, really pass the smell test with me. Um, I'm hopeful that they will begin to reach out to small business owners and get our input in, in sure. terms of, you know, are the thresholds too low? How do we determine business uh, from, from, uh, from personal uh, income and, and things of that nature. Yeah, maybe the policy will change uh, by the time they look at it again. Javier Palomares, thanks so much for joining us today. Appreciate it. Merry Christmas. Happy holidays, guys. Thanks Merry for having Christmas. me. Merry Christmas. Same to you.